We are going to uh, follow the Mormons up into uh, Canada, into southern Alberta. The Mormon church feared the wrath of the U.S. government over the Mormon uh, practice of polygamy and uh, therefore sent a Mormon leader, Charles O. Card, north to explore a potential retreat to Canada. The first church and community was named after Charles Card, and that was Cardston, Alberta. It was uh, like an arrangement made in heaven. The uh, Canadian government was looking for settlers with the very attributes that the Mormons possessed. Hard work, organization, perseverance, good family relationships. And the Mormons, of course, were looking for a backup spot in case they needed it. The uh, Mormons guaranteed to the Canadian government a thriving sheep and wool industry within two years of when they came. Or Canada could abandon any support for the Mormons. Well, there was no need for any guarantee. Within two years, a thriving sheep and wool industry existed. Furthermore, uh, the Mormons brought to Canada their uh, dry land farming experience and knowledge. Uh, Mormon irrigation was the forerunner to today's irrigated agricultural industry, now producing the rich sugar beet production of southern Alberta. I made a couple of videos on the Mormon pioneer story in the U.S. before the group of Mormons came to Canada. Uh, to find them, uh, just uh, as it says here in the bottom, uh, just uh, Google at Don Barnett 5090, hit the word playlists in the middle of the page, and scroll down uh, to the uh, playlist called The Mormon Empire. And hit the subscribe button. That'll tell you when we're putting more videos uh, up on the internet here. This is uh, I Go Travel with Don Barnett. So long for now.